on tonight's episode of um, What's for Dinner Wednesday. It's going to be a creamy chicken mashed potato dish. And I'm going to make a box of mac and cheese to go along with it. It's going to be very, very, very simple. So, what you will need is a can of condensed cream of chicken soup, a package of Italian salad dressing mix. I have two bags of buttery instant potatoes, some milk, butter, I haven't got hit at it, mac and cheese, and last night I bought a rotisserie chicken at Walmart and they didn't need it all because I had chicken salad sandwich. If you all had Walmart's chicken salad, oh, it's so good. And I had this much left. So I'm going to cut this up and I'm going to prepare this. So let me get my stuff ready and I'll be back to cut up my chicken. So here's what I'm going to do. I have three cups of water in this pot. And I'm going to add, it says to use four cups of water, but I like to use uh, three cups of water and a cup of milk. So I am going to add a cup of milk to my water. Put my milk up. I'm going to add some butter. I'm not ready to start this yet. I'm just getting it ready. There's my butter and a little bit of salt. I am going to go ahead and turn my water on for my mac and cheese and get that started. Add a little bit of salt to that. And when that gets to boiling, I'll add my mac and cheese. But while I'm doing that, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil to my pan. I think I need to get me some new pans. And I'm going to add my chicken. I've cut it up into kind of good sized chunks. Just like this. I've cut it into kind of good sized chunks like that. Now, I'm gonna get this started going. I want to get this a little bit brown. Like I've told you all before, I'm paranoid when it comes to chicken, which I know this is done, but I also like a little bit of doneness to my chicken as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this done. Just get it started, then I'll add my in the chicken soup and my Italian uh, salad mix, salad dressing mix. I'm going to go ahead and get this started heating up. I think I will add about a teaspoon of minced garlic. If I can get it open. of a char on it so I can smell the garlic. Now I'm going to add my chicken soup. I think I'll add a little bit of milk. Add a little milk. Maybe a quarter of a cup. Add my Italian 
salad dressing mix. I'll add the whole thing. This is a recipe that I found on Pinterest. So we'll give this a mix and let this cook. So we'll have about, I don't know, four cups of potatoes and then this soup mixture, Ch soup chicken mixture. Who else does that? Stirs so much you get your liquid on the stove and it cooks. It's a good mix. Fully incorporate it. Add a little bit of salt. Not a whole lot because that salad dressing mix probably has salt in it. I'm gonna add some pepper. Turn it down, let this cook. I'll throw my box of mac and cheese in my paint pot. I'm not a big fan of mac and cheese. But I do have to say, last year when we went to Disney World, I don't know if it was because I was very hungry or what it was, but I went to this place, um, they're a close to Friars Nook or something, whatever that place is called, and I ordered me some mac and cheese, and it had, um, and I hate sour cream. Oh, I hate sour cream. But it had sour cream and green onions, and I think it had bacon on it. And that was actually pretty good. Now, like I said, I could have just been really hungry. But I wouldn't care to have some more of that. I thought about getting some the last time I went, but I never made it there. So, so now, I have my mac and cheese in the pot. I have my soup mixture cooking. So I'm gonna let this work its magic and then I'll be back when it's time to do the potatoes. My mac and cheese is now done and I have my water on for my potatoes boiling, to boil. What I like to do with my mac and cheese. Which I'm sure others do this as well, but I cut my uh, butter up into little bitty pieces so it will melt better. Everybody knows it takes a quarter of a cup of butter. So. Let's go ahead and get that mixed up so it'll melt. My chicken's done. Let's go ahead and turn it off. Get 
melts so much faster when you cut it into smaller pieces. Add my powder. I know this is not the best, but I don't like it anyway. And they, they tend to eat it. So quarter cup of milk. They always like their mac and cheese in a bowl. So they'll be getting it in a bowl. So there's our mac and cheese. As soon as our potato water gets to boiling, we'll fix our potatoes. Clean up my mess. Now, my potato water is boiled, and I'm going to go ahead and add both packs of instant potatoes. It is off the heat source, so let's go ahead and mix this up. This is a pretty easy meal. So, let me go ahead and plate this up. So there's what mine looks like. And I didn't know Chris would like it that way, so I put his on the side, and there's his mac and cheese. So meet us at the dinner table. Hey, so we're here. That's what mine looks like. How come mine's not on top of mine? Cause I didn't know if you'd like it, so I didn't put yours on it. Oh. So I don't want you to try it. So it's called creamy chicken and mashed potatoes. And I don't get mac and cheese cause I don't like mac and cheese. I don't like mac and cheese. When it's fresh out of the pot. Yeah. But this one eats grits and cream of wheat too. I love cream of wheat. He makes choo choo tracks. What? Yeah, you do. You do. You know what? And you're cream of wheat. Choo choo tracks? Yes, you do. I do not. Know yes, you do. This is what he does. And I'm not making fun, I'm just stating the fact. This is what he does. He goes, no, yes, I hold that. I rake it across the top because it gets crusty on the top and you eat that and then you let it get crusty again. That's how you eat it. Does this need salt? I don't know. Oh. Let me try it. I just got Italian salad dressing mixing. It's steamy hot. The reason I don't know if you'd much like it. Because it's steamy hot. No, because of the salad, Italian salad dressing mix. Chicken is awesome. I think if I do this again, I would use like two thirds of the Italian salad dressing mix instead of the whole pack. Is it really Italian? -y? Well, you probably will think it is, but I, you know me, I like Italian food. I meant to heat up. Uh, croissants, but I'll have them for lunch tomorrow. What do you think? You think it needs less of the Italian salad dressing mix, or do you not like it? Be honest. You don't want me to lie? <laughs> no. You're always uh, brutally honest. I am always. What do you think? Um, Would you have per chick preferred chicken pot pie? No, no, not necessarily. I mean, this, uh, I think I like it. Damn. It's pretty cheap, too. Really? Well, I mean, it's just a can of soup, instant potatoes, chicken. Some and, chunky chicken. Yeah, an Italian salad dressing mix, and a box of mac and cheese. I've got plenty of salt. Well, that's the reason I said don't salt it. Yeah. 
I don't, I'm not sure I taste the Italian. Really? I mean, it tastes like chicken and gravy and mashed potatoes, kind of. You see the little bitty red specks? That's the dressing mix, so it's in there. Well, I mean, I'm sure it's Italian. I just, it still kind of tastes like gravy. Anything you pour on mashed potatoes is gravy. He's a mashed potato fiend. That's why when Thanksgiving my makes a bowl that big of mashed potatoes. Let me try some more of this. I, I, I like it. It's hearty. Is it? Well, yeah, mashed potatoes and chicken. I mean, it's like a comfort food. But it tastes kind of like... This would be really good for I the mean, winter time. Yeah. I don't know how to describe the Italian part because it just tastes like creamy chicken, gravy, and potatoes to me. Like, well, it might have Italian been. to me tastes like that Italian dressing you get at like Olive Garden. Mm -hmm. You know, that's Italian. Mm -hmm. That, you know, oil and stuff. This tastes like creamy... This was just the powder. Powder. Well, yeah. this tastes kind of like you take the the creamy chicken. Uh, what is it? The um, in the and make like a, you know. So you're saying that I could have just got the uh, cream of chicken with herbs and stuff in it, and I don't know. I don't know if it would have made the same kind of gravy, but I mean, this is yeah. to me. That's what it tastes like. It tastes like creamy chicken soup, like gravy. That's thickened up and on mashed potatoes. You know, I'm not the biggest fan of rotisserie chicken. I think it's too soft. Too it, soft. It probably would have been a lot better with prepared chicken. You mean like fried? Mm. Not breaded, but just, oh. you know, cut up. And... I don't know that it would have been better. I think this is good like it is. I mean, I, I don't know that I would just change anything about it. Um, well, out of that $6 I mean, rotisserie chicken I bought last night, it made two meals. Yeah. And if you had chicken fried up in a pan, I'm sure it'd be good too. But I don't know that you, you could probably take canned chunk chicken if you needed to for I, cheap and put it in this and it would probably eat well, pretty good. See, I have some in there that I was going to make other meals with. Yeah. But yeah, you could use that. And you know, even if it's a small can for two people. And then, let's see. It's actually pretty salty. Well, I didn't salt it. Yeah. Well, so, so wait, did I? I, yeah, I did, I salted it. Well, it may be that powdered um, stuff to make, mm -hmm. may be salty. Cause mine, you, you know, you like some more salt than I do, but. Um, this is plenty salty like it is, but I think it's good. Chicken, gravy, mashed potatoes. And she says it's Italian. So well, no, it's called creamy chicken mashed potatoes. Oh, but, so it is creamy chicken mashed potatoes. Yeah, but you know, like I said, this would be really good on a cold winter night. They should put gravy in the middle, the creamy chicken mashed potato gravy. Or creamy chicken gravy mashed potatoes. Because <laughs> it's like gravy. It's like gravy. Mm hmm So, would you like for me to make it again? Sure. Maybe in the winter time. Put it on the list. Chris, tell me about your list. I don't have it yet. You ain't made it. <laughs> He wants me to get a book, mm -hmm. write down our favorite recipes, and put them in a book. Yeah, because every night it's, what do you want to eat? I don't know. What sounds good? I don't know. So I think if we had a, a book or a, you know, a notebook or something, and every time you get something like this, that you're like, oh, this is pretty good, and it's reasonably priced, and it makes it pretty easy. Write that in the book and have a book full of stuff that you already know you, you know, like and reasonable and all that kind of stuff. And it's like your own cookbook. I gave I, you a lot of food. I don't, I don't know if you would use it or not, but 
it would help, you know, when you go, well, I don't know, and I would go, I don't know, and we say, well, open the book up and turn it, to, just flip it open and see what's in there. And whatever page it lands on, go, oh, well, that sounds good. Let's eat that. But here's the thing, I've got them saved to Pinterest. Then I can just go into Pinterest and look at. Well, I can't see them. Be better in a book. You can flip open a book. You can't flip open Pinterest just randomly. Chris can cook. Mm -hmm. I don't eat eggs. So he he makes, well, I make eggs and he'll eat them. But he says somebody that don't eat eggs don't need to make eggs. No. I didn't say that exactly. Okay. I think it's harder for to make stuff like eggs or gravy exactly if you won't eat it it's harder to make it really good because you don't know what it's even supposed to taste like if you don't eat well, it well i so, don't so you just have to go by everybody saying if it's good or not and then adjust it i don't eat gravy but caitlin likes my gravy my gravy's pretty good but it's better now than it was i make my gravy with butter I don't use oil. He says oil makes it too greasy. So I use butter. Well, she, yeah, when she uses oil, she's not using grease, like bacon grease or sausage grease. She just uses oil and flour, I guess. And I think, I don't think that works very well without, without it being. Even though that's why mom makes hers. And you might love mom's. She just uses oil out of the can. I think so. You sure she don't use Crisco? I don't think she does. She, she might, may. She might I don't Crisco. know. I don't know. The solid oils, I think, are better for gravy. But she don't make sausage gravy. No, but she may use Crisco or something like that. I don't think the just liquid oil out of a bottle works very well. It's too oily and it don't, It. I don't know. It just don't seem like it's as good. This is filling. But the butter works okay. The butter seems to work pretty good. I'm amazed that it does well. Yeah, this is filling. This, the mashed potatoes and gravy, this is this is a very filling, warm. Uh, yeah, if you came in cold or a uh, cloudy day or whatever, this is a comfort food for sure. It's mashed potatoes and gravy with some chicken in it. And mac and cheese. And then, yeah, mac, or whatever you want. Green beans would probably be good with this. Or, or corn. Corn. You could probably broccoli. mix corn in with this, and it would actually might be pretty good with corn. Yeah, corn would probably be good in it. Yeah, sprinkled on top. Mm -hmm. Have like one of those potato bowls. Yeah. But yeah, you could mix any vegetables with this, and it would match Brussels sprouts or anything, I guess. Well, There's I, plenty of food. Mm-hmm. And let's see, it probably has, let's see. It's like half of a $6 chicken that was $3. It's cheaper than two Big Macs and French fries and drinks? Let's see, probably, because it's $3 worth of chicken, uh, $3 worth of mashed potatoes. That's $6. Can of this was two seventy something so that's what, say nine dollars and 40 or 57 cents for the dress and stuff. So less than ten dollars, not include well, there's milk I put in it. Could you use canned milk if you didn't have fresh milk? Oh, yeah. Well, you don't even, well, you, uh, you, didn't, you have to have milk for this because the instant, what, well, yeah, you did for the mac and cheese. Oh, yeah, but, but if you didn't make the mac and cheese, you wouldn't have had to have real milk. Mm -mm. No. But sometimes people might not have milk in the fridge. Yeah. I think it's pretty good. Good job. Me too. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, to subscribe, hit that notification button, and share my video. See you next time. Bye.